The movie begins by showing students moving out of the school to the playground. Kurmi trips and falls while running, as she takes a glance at Senpai, a fellow student, and she goes to the school clinic to get treated. Mrs. Megumi, the teacher in the clinic, admits that she notices how Kurmi always looks at Senpai. Yuki overhears their conversation and chips in. The teacher tells her to leave, as it seems she has gotten better. While Kurmi gets her bike as she gets set to go home, Senpai approaches her and asks about her leg, and they both walk home together. The next day, Kurmi hurries to Mrs. Megumi's office to tell her that she went home with Senpai. Yuki who was eavesdropping, tells her to express her feelings. Yuri, the horticulture president, comes to call the attention of Mrs. Megumi and the two girls leave her office. The next day, as students arrive at the school, Kurmi and the rest gather together to eat and the four go to the roof to get vegetables. When they return, Yuki and Kurmi go into a classroom to talk to some girls. But in reality, there is nobody there. And the class is kinda mess and also stained with blood. Outside the school, a lot of students are seen walking around but they became zombies. Kurmi and Yuri make a plan to go outside the school premises to get resources. They encounter a group of zombies on the way, but they distract them by using table tennis balls. Later, they are discovered by a smaller group of zombies, but they fight the zombies off. The duo get to their destination, which is the cafeteria, and begin to take what they need. Kurmi hears movement in the storage. She moves towards that direction gently and holding her weapon firmly. Turns out it is from a girl, who identifies herself as Mickey. They take her back to where they stay and check her for any injuries. Yuki introduces herself and the rest of the school living club to Mickey. Yuri asks Yuki to look for a new uniform for Mickey and she leaves with Mrs. Megumi. She then asks Mickey if she is the only one who survived on the north side of the school. Mickey says there were others in the beginning. Yuri tells her to rest for a while as she takes her to where she'd stay. And later that night, they all eat spaghetti together. The next day, Yuki shows Mickey the view from the rooftop. She says that the view is beautiful. Mickey is surprised because all they can see are zombies walking around. They both go to the broadcast room and Yuki talks to someone about Mickey. But in reality, nobody is there which surprises Mickey again. Mickey goes to meet Yuri and Kurmi to ask them why Yuki acts that way. They tell her that in her memory, the incident never happened and that both the students and teachers are alive in her memory. They beg Mickey to act along with Yuki but Mickey secretly tries to run away way as she steals their properties. Kurmi catches her and tells her that leaving the school is a bad idea. Mickey tells her to let them leave together as no one might come to save them. Yuri tells the story of when the incident happened and how they got to meet each other. The flashback shows Senpai getting bit while trying to save Kurmi. When Senpai turns into a zombie after he gets bitten, he attempts to attack Kurmi but she hits him on the head with a shovel. Only Kurmi, Yuri, Yuki, and Mrs. Megumi were left alive, and they formed the school living club. Mickey plays music from the broadcasting room to divert the attention of the zombies away from her route to escape. Yuki stops her, trying to persuade her from going. In the school, Yuri and Kurmi go to turn off the music from the broadcast room, and Kurmi quickly heads back to look for Mickey. Meanwhile, Mickey and Yuki get surrounded by zombies, and they try to attack them. They climb on top of a car as they try to escape the zombies. Mickey then has a panic attack as the situation she is in reminds her of what happened when she was in the cafeteria. Kurmi arrives and makes a noise by hitting her shovel on the floor, as she tries to draw the attention of the zombies. Yuri then goes to the broadcast room to play the sports week song, and Kurmi then tells the duo to run towards the classroom. As they run, both Mickey and Yuki imagine they are running a race with other students cheering them up. Later, Yuki goes to meet Mickey to cheer her up and convince her to join the school's living club. After a while, Kurmi and Mickey try to fight off the zombies in the school storage room. As they fight the zombies, Mickey sees one of the zombies. She is frightened and falls to the ground, but Kurmi kills the zombie. As they rest, Mickey tells Kurmi that she admires her courage as she can fight any zombie. The members of the school living club go into the storage area and are joyful as they find a lot of resources in the room. As they arrange the resources, a zombie appears and Kurmi tries to attack it, but she gets frightened and falls to the ground, and Yuri helps kill the zombie. Kurmi goes to the top of the roof where Senpai was buried, and she remembers when he tells her that he joined her club because he wanted to see her more. She breaks into tears and Yuri tries to comfort her. 
That night, the four students take pictures of each other. In the following days, the group gets so close to each other, as they do everything together, and play together. One day, the four students stand on the roof, and they decide to hold a school festival since it is the autumn season. Yuri tells the rest of the students that she would go to take permission from Mrs. Megumi. When Yuri gets to the office, she tells her that Yuki and Miki are forming a great relationship. She adds that Kurmi has helped them make the school safer and more secure. Mrs. Megumi then asks Yuri how she is doing. Yuri replies that even though she is scared of what might happen to them in the future, she is fine. Mrs. Megumi tells her that the strength of each of them complements the others, and that if they all work together, there is nothing to be afraid of. While the four students are together, Yuki says that she doesn't want to graduate, but Yuri tells her that they have to do it sooner or later, and Miki asks them what they want to do when they graduate. Yuri replies that she wants to go to college. Kurmi says she wants to become an athlete, and Miki tells her that she surely would be one, and says she also wants to continue her study. Yuki then tells the others that they should all go to the university together, and they will occasionally visit Mrs. Megumi, and they all promise to remain friends, no matter what. Yuki goes to call Mrs. Megumi to the classroom where they hold the school festival. Meanwhile, as they celebrate the school festival, a zombie picks up a lighter and turns them off and on, while the group tries to have fun as they read each other's future. The fire alarm rings and the zombies are drawn towards the school building. They try to look for the source of the fire, and they find out that the zombies are reacting to the noise of the alarm. They go downstairs and find out that one of the zombies set itself on fire. The zombies break through the barricade and try to attack the girls. They get separated as they all run in different directions. Miki and Yuri run back upstairs and tries to wait for Kurmi and Yuki. But the zombies come close to them and they run to the north section of the building. Yuki loses her way and gets lost while Kurmi runs to the rooftop. She climbs on top of a chimney as she tries to escape the zombies. Miki and Yuri run into a classroom and barricade the door with a table and a chair. Yuri almost loses hope and tells Miki to go and leave her alone, but Miki tells her that she can't leave her. The zombies break through the door into the classroom and they have nowhere to go. Yuki almost gets attacked by a zombie on fire. Kurmi imagines that she is talking to Senpai and she tells him that she loves him, and she almost gives up and he tells her to never give up. He puts a hand band on her hand, and in reality, the hand band is in her hand. She stands up and tells herself to never give up, and then jumps over the zombies to the ground. She picks up her shovel and attacks every zombie on her way, and goes to the classroom where Miki and Yuri hit, sees a zombie that looks like Miki on the floor, and starts to cry as she thinks Miki is dead. She then hears a noise from the room close to her, and she hurries there. She sees Miki and Yuri trying to fight some zombies, and she she helps them. She gets bitten by one of the zombies but it so happens that the zombie bit her hand band. They notice that Yuki is missing, but they reassure themselves that she is alive because she is with Mrs. Megumi. We then see Yuki wakes up on the floor and goes into a room. She sees her teddy bear's ear, and then she remembers that Mrs. Megumi was bitten by a zombie when they tried to pick some useful things. Then she sees Mrs. Megumi as a zombie in front of her. The girls hear Yuki's voice from afar off and they move in that direction. When they get there, they see that Mrs. Megumi tied herself up so that she won't be able to hurt anyone. Kurmi tells her that she can rest now and then kills the zombie. They access the damage and they see that the warehouse has been burnt. Yuki tries to act as if nothing happened but Yuri stops her. She then confesses that she knew all that was going on but acted as if she didn't know. Then they all decide that it is time to graduate and leave school. And they plan to hold a graduation ceremony to say thank you to Mrs. Megumi and the school. At the ceremony, they all read the opening speech in tears, and after that, they each give themselves their certificates, and leave the school the next day, in Mrs. Megumi's car. As they pass through the streets, they see that the whole town has been infected, so they decide to check by the university first, before they go, anywhere else. Thanks for watching, take care, and see you in the next video. Honest money, money.